Hey there, partner. Born in there. Good morning, mister. Hey there, partner. You better watch your behavior around here. Give me your money now, tough guy. Or you're a dead man. Oh, you really want to do this? Shut up! Do what I say. I'm gonna give you the beating your daddy should have done. <laughs> Hey, move it! Open your eyes! What are you doing? Let's try and help each other! Start hey, you better start acting right around here. So... Gentlemen? Twins. I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. 
One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You were your the friend there. trail together. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Morning.
in that old Driscoll cabin, but not much else. Shotgun. You no know cold? Not for now. No. <laughs> Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. The only thing that makes me happy. Good morning, Arthur. That all got a little messy, huh? I reckon it's best if we just put it behind us. Suits me. This isn't tough. This is easy. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. Slowly. You were starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you And then the boat comes down with the plague. And men are dying like it's a race. The parson, he can't keep up with the funeral. Preparing them two, three at a time, and there's 50 sharks. Each of the boats gets a feast of the horses. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. 
You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Until you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. There's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Arthur? partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I best keep moving. That's cool, girl. Knock, knock, Mr. Rowe. Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. uh, Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? 
Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Where is he? Oh. Oh. No. No. Nye. Nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Don't even speak English. Good yet. You must have come here with something. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat. Okay, that should about cover things. Need a hand with your horse? Hey, why not? Welcome back. Hello.
What, Uncle? He's a little fat. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Come on, girl.
Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Thomas Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. How's that debt looking now? A little patience is all I require. <laughs> Pay the money, you'll make this stop. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hi, Arthur. Arthur! Arthur, how you oh, been? Hey, I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just, a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Can I ask you a favor, it, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Season? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do.
Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. Remember, if you want to back down, you just say the word. Wow, that hurt. So you want to play, huh? Here. Okay. Does this look good? Cause it feels good. Okay, I got this. What's in this? God. Shit. You watching carefully?
Later. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. All right, fine. and through here hey, like you are. Let's talk place. about this. Well, the Arthur, Arthur, the come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy. I got lumbago. Look at that. <laughs> Turn him up, will you? Oh, God, hell. For some work. Wait for my oh, time. Oh, just two days. I only made us for one. Oh. This labor has been duped. You could have stepped in. I ain't gonna suffer. You know, he ain't a bad fella, all things considering. That man's head's going soft in his old age. You better watch out. Get your news here, Valentine. Sir?
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, uh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Come on, girl.
This way. Come on. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur!
Stallonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Stallonia. Just stop and let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere? Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Sorry. They're 
just using you, telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. You pop up out of nowhere? For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just... Hold up a minute! This is none of your damn business! For Christ's sake, Arthur! Come on, you ain't stupid! You can see this is crazy! You're the crazy one! Just stop! Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! Just 
using you. Telling you what you want to hear. Hey, what are you doing? They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? You pop up out of nowhere? Yep. Just stop and let's talk about this.
than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Yeah. I was doing just fine by myself! 